hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video this is john from programming knowledge and this is the second part of our pwa uh, video tutorial series and from the previous tutorial i have um, discussed the content of our starter files which contains the css um, image files which contains also the icons and uh, we also have the js directory um, that also holds the common that js and materialize that mean that js and also we um, discuss also the pages or the content of our pages directory and now it has the about that html and also we added few elements here in our index.html and if we try to preview this on the browser we can see this particular output and of course from the previous tutorial you already saw that if we click on this then uh, you will get this particular side um, sidebar menu and also if we, uh, if we click on the plus button then we can see the new contact form now in this video guys we're going to be adding a new feature to our pwa app um, basically we will add uh, we will start adding the pwa support for our um, project and this is a contact organizer project meaning we could add you know contacts to this um, view contacts that has been added and also we could delete the contacts and basically we want this particular app to be um, supported or uh, it should work offline and um, it should also persist data say for example if you're offline and you have added uh, a new contact then uh, whenever you go online then the offline data should be also uploaded to firebase database so for now let's just add first a dummy data for our um, app and as you can see now uh, the the app is empty right here we don't have contacts so what we will do is to add um, dummy data first so let's open up our index.html and then inside the contacts container um, here contacts div we're gonna add a dummy data first so let's just add uh, a div element and then let's add a class to this so let's make it a gray text and we will darken the text by one and let's add a another class pk contact and also we're gonna add um, the contact image so here we're gonna add the contact image so class and then contact image and again guys as I've said from the previous tutorial all these classes for example the custom classes that we have used here are present here in our styles that CSS so for example contact dash image and for now it has this with um, 60 pixels and of course by the way if you want to get the starter files of our pwa app or project then you can follow the link that is on the description box below so it is a github link where you can download the starter files for this particular video tutorial now let's continue with our index.html so inside the contact image div let's add the actual image so that will be img tag and then the source will be coming from our image directory and then pk contacts.png and then let's just add a um, an alternative text so let's just say here contact thumbnail 
So after this particular div, we're going to add another div for the details of our contact. So meaning this particular div will contain the name of our contact and also the numbers or the contact numbers for this particular contact. So contact details, it will have another div and it should hold the name. So for example, the name um, John Doe. And let's just add another div for the contact number. So let's just add one, two, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And in here, we're gonna add a class to this class, and then contact. I'm using contact title to this title. And for the numbers, then. We're going to use contact and then numbers. There you go. And of course, another div is for the options. So as you can see from the previous tutorial, we have an option to delete or to call the contact. So that's what we're trying to do here. So div class and then contact options. And in here, we're going to add the material icon. So class and then material icons and then let's just add the call um, icon so it represents the telephone or the call icon so and then let's just duplicate this and uh, call this um, delete outline so it will display the um, delete icon which is uh, a trash can or trash bin okay so material icons and um, call and delete underscore outline so let's just save this and um, go back to our browser and as you can see here we do have a first contact dummy data that we have here so of course we can uh, duplicate this so for example we want to duplicate this okay so all we have to do is copy all the elements that we have here and then paste it here and let's just uh, change the name into Dominic Wilkins or something and the same number so save and we should be getting two contacts right here uh, with all the information the image the thumbnail the name the contact number the same thing with the other record and it also has the um, delete icons and of course the call icon so maybe later on we will add a feature to this so for example if you click on this call icon so you should be able to contact or manage to call the contact so um, by by just using the numbers uh, indicated right here so you should, uh, you should be able to call the contact and make sure to use a correct number or contact numbers there you go so the next step will be to add a functionality to this or PWA functionality to this. And the first step for adding a PWA support is to add a manifest um, file for this particular project. So it will serve as, um, you know, a, as a manifest and it will provide about uh, information about a web application and typically it is on JSON text file format so it is necessary for the web app to be uh, downloaded and be presented to the user similarly to, to a native uh, application so this particular web manif manifest file will serve as the um, like an information for the app and it will help us to make the app uh, be installable to the um, device or uh, whatever the, the, the user is using so it could also include the name of the app the author the icon 
the version, description, and a list of all necessary resources on, uh, among other things that can be included inside the manifest file. So if you want to add a manifest file to your um, project, all you have to do is create a manifest file right here uh, inside the root directory of your project. So what you could do is right click here and then new file. And what you could do here is um, type in the manifest that json or json so in here um, it will uh, accept values or key, val key value pairs and each of the uh, key value pair um, signifies a unique you know information about our application so I, I I've said that it could contain the name of the app the short name of the app uh, the URL, um, the background color, the icons, and more. So basically, it is a JSON uh, format. So all you have to do is add in curly braces right here. And um, you have to specify the name, for example. So I'll just name the, the app for now as PK Contact or Programming Knowledge Contact and um the short name will be short underscore name and then uh, i'll just use the same pk contact as the short name and um we could also set the start url so for example we, we want to use the index.html as our starting file for this, we could also try to change the display, for example, standalone. There you go. Um, it means that uh, we can uh, install the app and it will serve us or it will behave as an independent app. Um, you could also set here. Uh, for example, uh, minimal UI um, browser if, if you don't want to install the application or let the user to install the application. So you can uh, specify browser right here as the value instead of standalone. So the next um, value will be background color. So it will represent, of course, the background color of your app. And for now, I'm just going to use this particular value. So for db6ac. But you know, you could always choose your own color. But in my case, I just want to use this particular color right here. So another one for the theme color, uh, I'll just add 0069 and um 5c and we could also set the orient orientation of our app and i want this app to be portrait primary okay and of course if you want to know more about the key value pairs that you could add here you could check the official um developer page of PWA you can you can check that uh, I, I think I'm gonna add also the link in the description box below you, you could you know just follow that link so you that uh, so you could know the other values that you could add for your application and of course right here we can set the icons for our app and of course this particular icon ski uh, it has like an array of elements um, and it could also have different values and different sizes and we will do that in the next tutorial so we will be setting the icon sizes and also we will try to evaluate the state of our PWA 
uh, application and let us see if our um, project will pass the PWA checklist so that's all there is to it in this video guys thank you for watching and see you in the next video